We had Seth Low Houses, Power in Public Housing campaign. I'm here with my man, Rashad Drakeford, the head of the HBCU campaign for the future president of the United States, Senator Barack Obama. Let's hear what he got to say. Keep it real. What's going on, everybody out there? You know, I know we're working really hard to make sure that poverty is um, on the front burner and the, on the front burner in the next administration. We've had eight years of of um, road policies and, and putting putting um, the lower the you know, people that are struggling in society last. Um, you know, the rich have gotten richer, the poor have gotten poorer, and the dream that so many people have fought for is slowly, slowly slipping away. And it's finally time for you know for us to have a president who um, understands what it means to you know work to make sure that people that are in poverty, people that are struggling day to day, people that can't afford the health care, that can't you know pay a mortgage, that they have some type of assistance coming. Um, so you know, as, as the director of the HBCUs, which are historically black colleges and universities. Universities, you know, we're focusing on going into the hood, basically, and registering voters and empowering people to get involved in politics, not just in this election, but beyond this election, to hold their elected officials accountable, and on top of that, get involved in the community, you know. There's only so much we can do on a, on a large level, but if everybody can, you know, improve their communities day by day. They can have cleanup sessions, cleanup days in the neighborhood, or, you know, make sure that kids have mentors, make sure that there's after school programs in the hood, then we can see some real changes going on in urban communities. So that's something that Barack believes in. He supports the Global uh, and Global, Global Poverty Act. He's one of the co-sponsors on the bill. And that's because he believes that together, you know, we can really make some change on a global level and on, and, and on a national level. But the biggest thing he always talks about is that change does not happen from the top down. It happens from the bottom up. It's when every single person takes responsibility for their community, takes responsibility for their family. That's how change happens. So, you know, when you see this video, make sure that you go out, you register to vote, that you, you go and get your friends to vote. And then beyond that, that you guys come together and, you know, really make change happen in your own community. You don't have to make, you don't have to register a million people. You can register a hundred people, you can register ten people. And that's how you, that's how change really happens.